You want to know what to do to find a find a husband if you weren't raised tradition, raised with a father. How are you? Hi, how are you? Good. How, how um, old are you? I'm 38. What do you think about the topic I brought up regarding uh, singlehood being marketed to black women? I think that is wonderful. And I think that is something that doesn't get spoken up about enough, actually. You know, yeah. I think that that's what most of the TV shows that are marketed towards us, like um, Harley Living Singles. Sisters, living Single. Girlfriends. girlfriends. Sisters. Yeah. <laughs> All of those things. It, it, it puts us out there in such a way that says, hey, don't worry about a man. You know, you got your homegirl. So, like, just y'all get together and um, care for each other. And that's enough. That's enough for your life. Just like when I was talking to the young sister that was 27, and she said, I don't think it's marketed to us. It's because it's marketed to you guys in a professional sex in the city kind of way. This, is, this has been a plan since the 60s to sell women products. Cosmopolitan Magazine, the chief editor of Cosmopolitan Magazine wrote a book called Subverted about how she felt guilty about lying to women for reproductive choice and sexual freedom and all this other kind of stuff. So, but the thing is, unfortunately, during the civil rights movement in the 60s, this is my opinion, feminism was used, in my opinion, to blunt the, the gains of the civil rights movement. And unfortunately, Woman, you can look, even look at Miss America. Uh, it's the, this mini series with Betty Verdan and all this other National Organization for Women ERA in the seventies. Black women are going to have to come to Jesus and recognize that their mothers, their grandmothers, in the civil rights struggle, were offered feminism, and they took the gains from the civil rights movement that was supposed to be for the black community and kept it for their individual selves. I, you go back in your community, your family tree, and I can almost guarantee you that any family property, any family homes, anything like that was probably liquidated by the women in your, and baby boomers. The female baby boomers of your family probably got rid of everything. The stuff that was passed down. So Generation X had no inheritance. Millennials got nothing. So Generation X, millennials are all starting from zero. Every bit of gain was nuked by the baby boomer generation, which is going to go down as one of the most selfish ass generations in the history of human beings. They made a lot of accomplishments too, but Jesus said Christ. They're like locusts. And we're still dealing with them because they're now they're all aging out. They're the largest part of uh, senior care and everything else. So, and why is it marketed this way? It's because we're still, they haven't given up the reins of power. That's why you still got people in their 70s and 80s still in the black power movement. Go on somewhere, sit down. For the next group of people. So, I hope you sisters start having more conversations with each other uh, about um, how this life was m marketed to you guys so you can start undoing some of the damage that's been done. Why is that so important? Why is that so important? Because and if women don't start understanding that they, they you don't market single life to women and saying, yeah, at 55 you'll be alone with a dog and you're middling career and your room and your arthritis and your diabetes no they don't show that they don't show the things i show the woman who is 53 years old who lived with her mother and her grandmother who had two degrees and said she was two weeks from being homeless i am going to keep bringing this up because i get really lambasted in 2021 for hating black women how are you gonna tell that woman she's gonna die alone because the plan is out there to make y'all the work, the workhorse of the world. And the funny thing is, you think it's freedom. You're the only in the in the animal kingdom. Where do the female mammals actively leave the male of the species? 
that's producing, protecting, and providing. They don't. But modern women have been divorced from men's protection because you got police, fire, the state, 911. You don't need us for your immediate safety. At least you thought you didn't until that until CV came along and water and toilet tissue was on the short. Then you needed me. Provision, food, enough calories to feed all the mouths. You don't need us for that as much either. Your man is the system. But that only works, ladies. This system only works while you're young, healthy, and can be of use. When you're older, costs more, not healthy, and less useful, you are going to get the homeless trash treatment just like men. So when I see, saw that article, I've been inundated with that article. I was livid when I saw this crap being marketed to black women. Now, go tell that. All my pro-black this, that, go tell that because... As I move this platform forward, I'm a black man. I talk about black issues, but I'm going to start talking about modern issues because this stuff is becoming so crazy. Um, because there are people who, who this stuff needs to stop. And here's the thing. Y'all may not like this, but in corporate America, if you, it, one thing you do is if you're not successful at something, you start doing what's called best practices. You start looking at the people in your organization who are producing results and you go ask them, hey, Jeff, hey, Jay, hey, Sandra, hey, Debo, how are you getting that done? And if they're getting it done, you take their best practices and you start doing what they're doing. We're going to have to start taking best practices from other groups. And to that regard, we're going to need black women. It's going to be my opinion that there needs to be something for black women who want to be married. Wife school, wife school and charm school. Shout out to Minister Jeff. Wife school and charm school. Yep. You didn't learn it at home. You're going to need to go get your 12-month wife school diploma with your six-month charm school certification. You got a woman with potential senator wife school. If she can pass wife school, then you can marry her. Think how dope this would be. A free. Think about how dope this would be. Benjamin, think how dope this would be. Benjamin says, all right, Godfather, I got this, I got this woman. I think, I think she's got beauty, she's got brains, but she was in a single parent household, just like most of us. I don't know. Got it, A free, got it, Benjamin. Here's what to do. Enroll her in this semester of wife school. Wife school, what's that? Well, it's going to be a, a semester long intensive where we're going to learn the fundamentals of becoming a wife. And summer school is going to be charm school. What? Yo, in six months, she'll learn the fundamentals of becoming a feminine, beautiful, inspirational wife that provides the girlfriend experience. And women who come out at this program who have a 3.0 or higher have been statistically shown to perform better in relationships. So are you telling me, yeah, I'm saying a roller in girlfriend school and wife school and charm school. If she makes a 3.0, there's a better than eight out of 10 chance that she's going to be a suitable wife. Okay. Or your money back. <laughs> you know how many dudes would enroll their, their, their lady friends in wife school? Be like, how much it costs? I don't know, $5,000 for the, for, the, for the six months. Okay. If she passes, you got a wife. If she didn't, you're like, shit, best $5,000 I ever spent. $5,000 to disqualify. Well, baby, you got a 1.5 in wife school. You got a 1.5 in that. Can, you, what? You got, you, you got an A in uh twerking and dropping it's like it's hot but you gotta but you gotta <laughs> but you gotta i don't need a cookbook you gotta see and not needing a cookbook and you gotta d and smiling and temple must and, and shoulder rubs how you feel shoulder rubs well i can't marry you can you imagine if you treated women like because uh, think about it, whatever college they went to, they had to make a certain minimum in the SAT. They had to have a certain GPA to get in it. Hell yeah. 
You know how many brothers, how many men would be like, hey guys, meet my girlfriend. Where'd you meet her? Oh, I met her over at Whole Foods. Man, how do you know she's thorough? Dude, she, she, she's a 2022 graduate of white school and she went to the trauma school. She did? Oh man, I heard they produce some hella five new hires over there. Right? What? Yeah. Oh, okay. Shit. I'm telling you, boy. Boy. And here's the thing. Our godfather. They go to wife school and charm school. Then they get married and then they pull up the doulo twist on you. Ah, they didn't read the fine print. If a woman voids the wife school, charm school contract, she opens herself up to our cleaner clause. What's our cleaner clause? The cleaner clause means she has opened herself up to be go, to put her to be put up on the don't date her list. The FBI's 10 most wanted, the women who went to white school and charm school who turned out to be modern women. 